So hello, and in this video, we're gonna look at something that we all need to do from time to time. Some of us do more than others. I very rarely used to clean my tripod, but now I, I kind of do because um, otherwise you just find yourself buying new tripods all the time as they, uh, as they slowly start to rust up. So tripod care is, is quite important. And we, we abuse our tripods. We put them in rivers, we put them on sand, we put them in mud. We climb up mountains, we bash them against things. And, and every now and again, you just need to give them a little bit of love and care. Um, because at the end of the day, they're a very important piece of equipment. In some cases, a very expensive piece of equipment. So we do need to look after our tripods. So, this is mine. You've seen it many times before um, on different videos, being used and abused. Um, and uh, yeah, today I'm gonna show you how to, how to clean one. Now obviously, um, you can get a cloth and you can clean it. And that's, that's kind of going to, it's going to do something obviously, but the, the real issue with tripods is, is these things, these legs, because what's going to happen here is um, you're going to get dirt and grit and sea salt and all sorts of stuff up in here. And uh, slowly over time, they're going to start to grind as you tighten them. And, not gonna, they're going to get really stiff and the, the, the key thing is to, to kind of look after these. So what do I do to look after my tripod? Well, the first thing I do, and, and this is a habit and uh, it's a good habit to get into, is when you've been out and you've got your stuff really dirty, give it a wash when you get back. And what I tend to do is when I get back is uh, I will open up my tripod legs um, a little bit, um, maybe to about there. Um, on all, all three legs, just a little bit. And I will, I'm, going to, I'm not gonna show you this, but I'll stick it in the shower. And I'll just give it a quick shower down with, uh, with fresh water straight from the shower and uh, just extend each leg um, just to make sure that uh, we're all nice and kind of free flowing. And this one is, as you can see, this one's uh, quite free flowing, so it is, it is relatively clean. But I'm gonna show you how to clean it. So that's the first thing I do, and I do that quite regular when it's got quite mucky. Um, my main muck is, is sand and seawater, and, um, and the salt water from the sea can be, can be quite corrosive. Now, not too bad on these. Um, this is a carbon fiber tripod, but if you've got aluminium or um, another metal alloy of some description, then that can actually start to corrode with the seawater. So it's even more important to start to, um, to look after that bottom end. Now, let's show you on this leg how we take it to pieces. So the first thing you need to do is you'll notice that uh, we've got our wheels. Now there's two, there's two, um, there's, there's two locking systems for, for tripod legs, as you know. There's the, there's the little wheelie thing that, that just turns round, and then there's the little clip. Now the clip's a little more, bit more difficult. I don't actually have a clip tripod. Um, so I can't show you that, but there are, I believe there are other places where you can, you can see how to take one of those apart. But this, these are really easy. Um, these little um, locking, locking nuts, these little wheel ones are, are very easy to uh, maintain. You just literally undo it as if you're about to extend a tripod. And rather than stop after a quarter of a turn, you just keep on going until it falls off the end. And when it's nice and loose, then you can just pull the leg right out of the hole. Now. You need to be careful, don't just yank it out because at the end you will find some little white clips. Well, these are white on Gitzo anyway, but there are some little clips on the end. And these clips are really important. If you don't put these clips back in or you lose them, your leg will fall out the end every time. Um, so you need to look after these. So, so I would just take them off like that. They just drop off into two little pieces. These are Gitzo, you can, you can buy uh, replacement they, these are just cheap they are you can buy the replacements very easily and uh, and that's it that's the leg out so there's nothing to the leg that's it it is a carbon fiber pole a nut and then on here a thread and it is it is that simple um, how how do they know how to charge so much money for these things Eight, 800 pounds for a decent tripod and all it is is two bowls with a little nut on the end but they do get dirty. Now, what you'll find is the bit that really starts to get, get gungeon horrid is where these little clips are in here, 
because that comes down to there. You get some gunge in that area, goes in there, it pushes it back up and it gets in there. And the nut thread itself, and on, obviously on here, the inside of that nut thread. Now, that's where you get the grit. That's where you get the sand. That's where you get all the bits that, that can cause a little bit of damage and a little bit of grinding. So the first thing to do with that is use your old trusty friend, water. A little bit of washing up liquid or, or some detergent in there and a, and a little scrubbing brush. And what I tend to do is I just lift it over the top like this and just use my, use my brush and just get in there and rub off all of the bits that, that might have got in there um, and then just give it a clean. And just spend a few minutes um, on each one of those and I would probably tend to go round in order. Um, maybe take them all. I, don't, I tend not to take the whole tripod to pieces in one go. I do tend to do it in bits um, for, for a number of reasons. You know, you, you, it's easy to go together if you know you've only got one bit out. Um, and then when you've done that, key thing here, give it a dry. So a bit of uh, kitchen roll and give that, give that nut a really good dry off and make sure that it's nice and dry. Now on, on Gitso, um, I don't think these can corrode actually, but uh, you don't want them to corrode. So make sure they are super dry and make sure all the bits, bits are off it. Maybe just give it a quick squidge inside and then you know that you're dry inside as well. I know some guy that uses um, a, uh, I just, you know, I just push paper up there, but I know some of the guys have like a bottle cleaner that goes right up inside to not to bother with that. Um, like I said, I do tend to look after my gear when I get back from a, a dirty shoot. Similarly, you know, do the same on the end of, on the, on the tripod leg, you know, get in there, give it a clean, make sure I'll just give it a quick wipe there because I know it is relatively clean already and then get the, Get the kitchen roll on it to make sure it's super, super dry. There we go, up in the end, give it a clean. Same with the nuts. Obviously give it a wipe on the outside, but in there, we want to just give that a, a good old whiz around in the water. Get all the dirt out of it. And I can see there's a little bit of dirt coming out there. Give that a dry. Once again, let's get some more of this roll. and get in there, get it all nice and dry. Now when you've got it dry, when you've got that dry, and you need to do that for obviously for each of the legs, then it's time to put it back together. But before we put it back together, we've got one more little job to do. These nuts um, do have a little bit of grease on them and it's just to protect them, just to help it, to, just to help it kind of flow and move against each other, a bit like oil in a car engine really. Um, so we need to just put some lubricants on. Now I use, this is not an advertisement, I use the Gitso product itself, which is uh, uh, a tripod grease, and uh, just put a little bit on there like that, on the actual thread, and then I use my finger, and I just rub it all around so it's nice and evenly covered all the way around that tripod head, the thread, sorry. Give my fingers a wash. Grease doesn't come off awfully easy, as you probably know, but just get that off there. And then just keep it, keep it fresh and keep it flowing. Now, if you, if you don't have to use this product. Um, it, uh, I got it through the tripod, and I've got a couple other tubes from I don't know where. Um, I find it's really good, but other people use uh, Vaseline, which is equally good, but any kind of nice thin lubricant will, uh, will be good for that. These little bits, once again, give them a clean, give them a wipe, and then there is two locator plugs on it, and then, oops, and then on the tripod you'll see there is a small hole. Put the locators on the hole, it'll just kind of sit there and clip. Same on the top, just put the locator on the hole. There we go. And then, oh, first thing to do before you do that, get your nut, put it on your tripod leg. Otherwise, you won't be able to screw it back on. So that's the first thing to do. And then you put your little white plastic bits nice and neatly back on there. And then gently, now this is a key thing, gently 
You need to turn it around a little bit and just get it pushed back into its, into its hole. And then once it's in, you should be able to just tighten up the tripod leg, tight as you like, test it, good. Make sure it's all okay, perfect. So that's the first, that's the first thing. That's the first thing I always do is, is, the, um, is the actual locking mechanisms themselves. Let me get rid of that bucket of water. Onto to the side there. Have a quick of a clean down on the desk. The second part of the clean is another area that attracts a lot of dirt, and that's the end. So um, many people will, will use uh, rubber feet like this. Some people use spikes. Some people use a big flat disc, depending on where you are. If you're on rock, you want a big flat disc. If you're on sand, you want the spikes. Now I have short spikes on here at the moment and they are underneath these rubber feet. So if I'm on the beach um, or in soft ground uh, somewhere, then I might want to just put my short spikes, spikes into the ground just to make the tripod a bit more steady. And I can just get to that short spike by pulling that end off. And you can see there's my, uh, my short spike. Dirt can get trapped in there, um, in the way, gets in the thread. It's just amazing where dirt gets. Now, on this one, there is a hole that runs through there. And if you've got an Allen key, and anybody that's using a tripod will be using an Allen key for something, for changing heads or, or tightening things up, then bob your Allen key into the hole and give it a twist. There we go. And then we should be able to just unscrew that. Now, you'll be amazed how long these threads are. There we go. It's almost as long as the spike itself. And that's because the, you do get spikes that are this long, or even this long, um, and, they, and they do need a bit of grounding in the actual tripod. So, once again, we've got a hole there. Um, not the easiest thing to get in there. Uh, sometimes I've used a hoover, to, a hoover extension to get things out of there, but tend, I tend not to just, to just go around and, and just make sure that all the dirt's out on there. And then once again, with the with the spiky bit, with the foot itself. Once again, just clean it round. I might get the, uh, the brush out and give it a clean in the water, but I'll just give it a nice clean, make sure there's no bits on it. And then, once again, just a little tiny squeege of tripod grease. Rub that into the, into the thread. And then I'm just going to bob it back in there. It's important that when you do this, this is the only bit really that you need to, you need to be tight with, but get that back in and it's nice and tight because at the end of the day, you don't want that falling out. The rubber foot, once again, rubber foot are just really easy to clean. Just get them in the water, give them a, give them a clean round, give them a dry, and then bump back on. Rubber feet are great because actually if you might use them in certain you know, indoor situations for example but um, they also protect you from stabbing people with your spike. It's much easier if you just if you accidentally catch somebody to catch them with a rubber foot rather than the actual spike itself so um, good idea to, to get those. And really that's, that's it. That is, that is how to, to clean a tripod leg. I mean all these legs will come out in exactly the same way as that first one. This one, the second, the second knuckle up is just a slightly bigger bigger thread and, uh, and and once you pull that out there's that white clip on the end which I'm now holding and, and that's it it's out so you just clean that area there and um, take these white bits off give them a clean and then once again back in we go Oop, you've got to be careful to, to get it back in in one piece there we go we're in in it goes and then back on let's close that up and then that's our tripod. Now the top of the tripod, um, I tend not to do that much um, dismantling. I mean, the head of the tripod tends not to get dirty. It gets wet, yes, but it tends not to get mucky and dirty and horrid. I, I do wipe it and do give it a wash down every day and just with water. Um, and then the, because it's a ball head and my ball here is, uh, is, is exposed, um, I will use a little bit of the tripod grease again just to put onto the ball very infrequently. Um, 
Uh, I tend not to overgo I, overgo with grease on there because I don't like a lot of grease on the, on their bowl itself. But every now and again, just put a little tiny bit of grease and just move it around to keep things flowing. Um, all these uh, little levers and, uh, and things just just uh, unscrew completely so you can give them a clean. And uh, and that's it. That's really that's the easiest way to uh, look after your tripod. If you've liked this video, which I hope you have, I hope you found it informative, um, then please do subscribe to our channel. There's a button down there somewhere for you to have a click. And, uh, and please do leave a comment below, give us a, a thumbs up and subscription, all that kind of stuff. Until next time, thank you very much for watching and uh, we'll see you again.